Her song story is making round at this time. As the Nigeria Labour Congress, NLC, prepares for a nationwide strike to protest the removal of fuel subsidy by the federal government. The federal government says it will consider the list of demands from the Trade Union Congress, TUC, which includes the review of a minimum wage. Speaking to State House correspondents after a meeting between the federal government and the TUC, which lasted for about three hours, the spokesperson for the federal government, Dili Alake, said it will also look at the practicability of the demand. Alake said that most fundamentally, President Bola Hamidinu will constitute a tripartite committee to include states and organize the labor in the private sector to study the dynamics of the minimum wage argumentation to reach an amicable conclusion. We convened meeting today. As we promised you um, a few days ago, after we had the initial meeting with the uh, labor movement, we said we were going to reconvene today uh, to keep the engagement on in order to diffuse the tension in the land as a result of uh, the withdrawal of subsidy, uh, the, which is a reality. Now, um, we are very happy to announce to Nigerians that this engagement has been very productive. Uh, the TUC that attended today's meeting presented a list of demands, and those demands we have studied and we are going to present to uh, Mr. President uh, for his consideration. But those demands we can announce to, the, to Nigerians that uh, a lot of the items on the list are not impracticable. What we need to do is to uh, study. According to him, there is no disagreement with the Nigeria Labour Congress NLC over their demand for a review of minimum wage or a return to the status quo, noting that the FG representatives will meet with the president to crystallize decisions on the demands. What other demands did they put on the table beyond the minimum wage, sir? Oh, there is, it's, it's a list, but we are not going to be Just listing all of those things. Like now, we are not going to. The most important is the minimum wage. That is increase of minimum wage. Because when this thing is removed, the argument of labor is that there is an immediate impact on the workers, on the purchasing power, you know, because price of uh, uh, fuel has gone up. So that would necessarily reduce the purchasing power of the average worker. So the next thing the, of immediate consequence is to increase the purchasing power of the worker. And so that to me and to all of us on this side is the topmost priority on the list. There are other things like the tax holidays, which will be um, some categories of workers will be. On his part, President of TUC, Festo Sosifo, said the union is hopeful as the federal government promises to look into their demands, the top of which is a review of the current national minimum wage, among others. So we are going to meet Mr. President now. We are going to um, give him a feedback on this and he's going to take an immediate decision. And like I said, Mr. President himself, you all reported, he has said that there will be a review of the minimum wage. You all reported it. So we are not in disagreement. There is no disagreement at all with Labour on that particular issue. One of the President's spokesmen, Biola. No, not at all. It has no relevance to the discussion on the concrete terms of uh, the welfare of workers. We, our discussion was majorly on the welfare of workers, how to cushion the impact of this subsidy removal on workers. That's all. Not on any... Uh, yes, um, gentlemen of the press. Gentlemen of the press, as you will recall, that we were all here on Wednesday last week. And uh, after the meeting of Wednesday, uh, government uh, gave us their position and told us the reason why they did what they did. So on our part, so government told us the reasons why they did what they did, but on our part, we did not agree with them. So they presented some of the 
some of the space rocks that they consider as palliatives. That so that we those uh, items that they presented to us that um, we should consider them in the meeting. But we told them no, that we cannot consider them in that meeting, that we are going back to call our respective organs. So we went back, we called the neck of Trade Union Congress of our economy is in a very, very bad shape. We either get are you having the talk from this NLC? Are you aware why they're not there? I know. You know, uh, because um, when you call an organ meeting, an organ takes a life of its own. So the decision of your organ is what you are expected to implement. So all of us staying here today, we are agents of NEC of TUC. So the NEC of TUC took a decision, and that decision is what we are trying to push through. Are you satisfied with the discussion so far? Uh, yes, um, we, we have presented the list of our demands to them and they received it in good faith that they will go back to their principal and come back to us on Tuesday. So we are hopeful that the demand that we have presented would um, it will be reviewed in the best interest of Nigerian workers and the entire Nigerian masses. Ah, yes, the demand, the demand are so long, there are so many. Uh, yeah, there are so many. Uh, part of it was the demand for a minimum wage. And uh, we stated that for us, it is quite apt that uh, the minimum wage today is not a living wage, as we all know. The value of the minimum wage is what has been negotiated, has plummeted to a very abysmal level as it is today. So we demanded. <laughs> Uh, yes, because they are going back to Mr. President. So we also think that we should give them the benefit of doubt. Because the things we presented to them the last time, they did not also reveal it before the press. So it is also quite hard for them to go back. Maybe when we meet on Tuesday, we can dissect them one after the other, be much more specific. Is anyone divided? Last meeting with the government, we were here with the NLC. I think I've answered that question. That when you have neck meetings, so the NEC take a decision that the leadership are bound to implement. So we were holding the meetings almost simultaneously. So the NEC of TUC gave us the mandate. That is why we are here today. If, for example, if it was just the leadership alone that comes together and have a conversation, maybe it would be a bit different. But because it was a NEC, it's an organ, the high, uh, one of the highest decision-making body outside the delegate conference of the center. So they took a decision and that is what we are trying to see. Don't you think that the that you But is, is your function as press, is your function as press to also help us educate Nigerians, to make them understand that when you call organ meetings, that the decision of the organ is what the leadership are bound to push through and to implement. Thank you. Thank you so much. Meanwhile, the meeting between the federal government and the Trade Union Congress TUC on subsidy removal on Sunday was adjourned till Tuesday for the two parties to consider different demands made.